Alright everybody, welcome, I did a sound check, hopefully everything's uh, A-OK, -okay, fine and ship shape now. Uh, welcome back to Let's Play Spellforce The Order of Non. Let's jump back into the arbitrary tutorial. And do uh, another, I, I think this episode is going to be the rest of the tutorial, or this part episode, I don't know, I don't call them episodes, I call them parts, but, uh, hopefully the end of the, I, hopefully we'll get through the prologue in this part. The worker will appear in a couple of seconds. You may also click the symbols. I don't miss this guy at all. But, alright. The last time we left off, my last time, when we left off, Gordon Freeman and Reese Witherspoon were getting ready on their fantastic journey through the fantasy world. Yep. Your orders? At least five. So I'm gonna produce six just to spite him. Yeah, what are you gonna do about that? Six. When you have selected the monument, you will see numbers indicating your population limitations below. The upper number indicates how many workers of this race you currently have. It's those and things down at the bottom. You are the, allowed to have. the hammer and the swords. At present, you can produce the up to 20 left. workers. The maximum number of workers increases when you construct larger headquarters. On the upper right, you will now find a blue for the number indicates how many human workers are currently not doing a job. You can select a free worker with a click on the portrait button. Workers can collect different resources depending on their race. Human workers can chop trees, collect stone, or mine ore. I, I think dark elves can't cut down trees. An ore deposit. The next forest is located to the west. To help workers collect a resource, select one or more workers and then click with the right mouse button directly on a tree, stone, or an ore deposit. Only workers may figure in this selection. On the top edge of the screen, you will see the amount of resources you already have acquired. You can use resources to construct buildings, or summon combat units to a monument. Select workers and send them with the right mouse button to chop down trees, collect stone and mine ore until you have at least 50 units of each of these three basic resources. Is there time compression in this game? At least there was time compression. Nope! No, there isn't. It was an armor too. Ah, uh, I was surprised by that. So. And there's a uh, time compression in other games like this, but I guess there are no the here. Of the Bring the room to me as soon as you found it. Can I kill you? This game is no fun. I'm just kidding. I like this game. As long as we get to use the orc runes, it's fine. Here's a rune board. Like as like like he said at the bottom, you see the six races: humans, dwarves, elves, and at the right, my favorite races: the orcs, the trolls, and the dark elves. The resources in the game are wood, stone, moon. I know, uh, moon. I know, uh, bleh, bleh, I can't talk today. Wood, stone, iron, moon, silver, Arya, Lenya, and food. Now, Arya and Lenya, I have no idea. So we're both going to learn together. Same with moon, silver. I have no idea what that is. Like I said, I've actually owned the game for a very short period of time, so. Uh, 
And what do you think you're doing? Is he? Yep. Yep. He stuck his head right into the stone wall. Listen, you are not a stone ostrich, so get out of here. Get out. Get Get. Oh, why can't I kill people? I like I want to set people on fire. Ooh, it's a baby deer. Oh, and a rabbit. No, back with you, rabbit. <sighs> All right. Tahira. I'm sorry. I just love the way that she says that at the beginning. Tahira. Is she all the, all the way back here? Yep. Tahira. 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 No, just kidding. Good old uh, Fighter Drago, or Gordon Freeman, as I'm going to continue calling him. I don't know, I'm just trying to buy time. I'm just trying to pass the time until the lazy iron people decide they want to bring iron back. I wish it was like Age of Empires 2. I don't know if it was like that in Age of Empires 3, but in Age of Empires 2, you could like make them leave the resource to bring it back, no matter what, how many they had in there. Age of Empires 2 is a good game. I miss it. It's pretty awesome. I should LP it. What am I talking about anymore? I have no idea. Why am I just sitting here staring at these goblins? I need to leave them alone. What do we got over here? Orcs. Now have sufficient resources to construct your first buildings. What does the room Select a worker. It desires blood. Human blood. Shut up, wolves! He'll build this, and then they'll become the units called artisans. You can select additional units and send them to the construction site with the right click. Should you want construction to progress faster? And we do because we want to get through this as quickly as possible. Now some other workers and build a quarry near the stone resources and a mine near the iron. Here I am. The campaign will be semi-blind. I've never played. I've only played a little bit of the campaign, but I played the game before. So I guess this let's play will be a kind of blind one. Silent Hunter will be a huge blind one. Oops! I revealed what the other two are already. I said the name of the uh of the kind of sort of let's play earlier in this video and now I've say, said the name of maybe the new regular let's play I don't know if I want to let's play South Her. not completely sure no don't heal him shoot it oh my god this is getting annoying oh oh I'm supposed to build a quarry oh sorry I brushed the mic again All right. My God, so many deer. Maybe later I'll give you guys a glimpse into what I've been doing in this game and show you my uh my kind of skirmish map kind of thing where I'm playing as the trolls. Maybe, just maybe. Mm -hmm. 
Is that what I think it is? Is that a troll monument? No, that's just a troll statue. Yep, that's what the trolls look like in this game. But they don't go Probably a mod. It's probably a sound mod that makes them do that. Uh, probably, maybe. I don't know. Whoa, 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 crap, crap, crap. Where are you and what are you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get back to building that quarry. You piece of filth. You, my friend, are a piece of bread. Building Break's over, time for work. Yeah, break is over, time for freaking work. Your orders? Very well, and a mine near the iron. Wait a minute. A quarry near the stone re Son of a monkey's uncle. Welcome to Let's Fail to Build Buildings in the Right Spot in Spellforce. My goodness. In each of these resource buildings, up to five workers can advance to the status of so called craftsmen. So called. Special tools and are twice as efficient as simple ones. That's what an arson for humanity looks like. When you select the yep, it's Duke Nukem in the Middle Ages. Except he's, they're not as awesome. Window. When you click an empty symbol, and there is another free worker available, he will be assigned to the building. When you click an empty symbol, Those workers that construct a building automatically take over the free jobs in the building insofar as they are available. When you send a worker to a building with the right mouse button, you can fill three jobs. This way, workers who try to That way you can re you can rebuild the economy and save jobs for American businesses. Yep, this game's got it down. You just right click and everything is fine. You just right click and the economy's back on track. Should construction work fail to continue on the building, this means you have mistakenly removed all the workers from the construction site. My God, are you are you being going like, oh, you're so stupid, you can't, you, are you trying to assault my intelligence or something like that, Mr. Narrator, dude? Building completed. Now your resources should increase much faster. Keep an eye on the individual stocks and, if necessary, assign your workers to other jobs. Yes, yes, revo remake the economy. In order to recruit Make larger, jobs. You will need food. No. Humans are very flexible and are able to catch fish, hunt or breed animals and grow grain. I don't think evil races can go can grow grain. And I think evil races can only hunt base, and fish. A number of animals. Well, I know trolls can breed uh cows. Additionally, construct a small headquarters so that you will have up to 30 workers at your disposal. So this is a hundred lingerie. All right. Let's get cracking then. Yeah, let us get cracking, Mr. English accented guy who lives under a fleur de lay. I'll go into another 30 minutes. I think I'm going to do half hour parts of this. I'm recording for 14 minutes. Goodness. I'm sorry, people who are getting like, like, ear attacked by, uh, by you know Here we go. wait I was about to say are we losing jobs are they are they exporting jobs to China again 
China doesn't even exist in this world. How are you exporting jobs to third world countries if there is no third world in this game? But enough about that. Let's move on. Rabbits. Rabbit season. I don't know, do they hunt rabbits in this game? I have no idea, but I do know they hunt, uh... With a crossbow! With a crossbow! You kill a baby deer with a crossbow from, like, what, ten feet away? You, sir, are a sham. Mr. Mr. Bad Attempt at Making a Medieval Duke Nukem. Oh, this game makes. I mean, it, this game gets pretty awesome uh, when you get, but when, you, when you're building your your legions of soldiers, it gets pretty. It gets pretty epic, especially when you're playing as evil. But I can't play as evil in here because I I, I like playing as the bad guys in games because you know it, it's it's different, you know. And I love playing as them in this game because there's something awesome about having like this big camp. Where, like, there's trolls and orcs or dark elves or, you know, stuff like that walking around, you know, making, building your legions of troll warriors and dark elf assassins and orc fighters and spearmen and all sorts of stuff. And then you have all these orcs marching in line and it makes, makes me feel tyrannical and you can send up it, to it, five it makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. Food faster. The amount of the food you have stored determines the Here maximum size of your army. Very well, off I go. The on flags on the buildings show that you way. whom the buildings belong to and if workers are currently active in this building. It does? Oh, it does. It if belongs to, to the blue nation of blueness. Of the kingdom of there blue. Also some berry bushes on the bank of the lake, but these serve exclusively as food for elves. Really? So only el- I didn't know that actually. You should do something to defend your settlement. Build two towers in the area around the stone slabs, as enemies might come from this direction. Is it stone slabs? That is the portal to end the prologue. Oh lord, how I want to go through that gate. All right, so by the stone slab, so it would be these areas. So, okay. You. Uh, crossbow tower. Crossbow tower. <laughs> oh, that's the statue that's on the dwarf monument, by the way. Pretty awesome. And that's the statue that's on the troll monument, which I've already said. Uh, is there any other statues that are on monuments? No. Nope. I'm surprised. I would expect the statue that's on the orc monument, which is pretty darn awesome, would be here. I swear, if, if it says, Now, you can kill the enemy, or you could go through the, the portal to end the prologue. I will go through this portal. I will not hesitate. I will jump into this portal and leave. <sighs> well, I, I, out of curiosity, I want to see if, if she can, like, go through it. Haunting me. It's like, yeah, you can leave if you want, but not right now. Is 
that a monument or what is that? It's another like human statue off in the distance. Well, obviously that's a statue that's on the human monument. As you can plainly see over there, it's the same statue that's over the river and through the... No, it's over the mountain. What's that? Oh god, it's the orc headquarters. Mm. So they have a headquarters up there, eh? The orcs. Them orcs must die. Oh. I hope I chose the right area, laid the right stone slab area. Because if I put them in the wrong area, I'm going to feel like an idiot. Just in case. Some goblins are attacking your settlement. You will soon hear an alarm signal and see a red symbol on the overview map indicating the site of the attack. Defend your town with your avatar and your hero. Yep, this is what destroyed my uh, my Dark Elf settlement in my first free game. They have returned. You're a little. Your What's he doing? Is he running away? By the way, whenever you hear an alarm signal, you can use the space bar to immediately switch to the site of the enemy. <sighs> I'm thinking of just making him go damaged, past this and go all the way up there Select one and get killed. The job and click with the right mouse button on the damaged structure. You can not only summon workers at a human monument, but also human warriors and mages. Yep. Human warriors Single and mages. Warriors summoned at the human monument will not be as strong as your avatar or your hero. With sufficient resources, however, you can produce whole armies. Now it is time to build an army. Firstly, you will need to construct the fort. Want a better weapon? You should see Adrian at the forge. I've seen so many Skyrim let's plays. Anyway, still don't have Skyrim. It makes me sad. It makes me sad inside. One of these days. One of these days. Young rock spider. Is that like a spider made out of rocks? Or is it a spider that climbs on rocks? I can't tell. Fist spearman. Fist thug. A lot of fists. Orc pathfinder. Weapons and armor for battle units will be manufactured in this forge. If you have several forges, you can produce units faster. That I didn't know. 
battle units are also summoned to human monuments. If you would like to establish a rally point for new units, select the human monument and summon at least three recruits and three scouts. If you are unable to produce units, you will find text marked in red in the help window, which specifies the reason why, for example, a missing or unoccupied <laughs> building, or insufficient resource. Ready to fight, right away, sir. sir. Awaiting your orders. Securing the area. Understood. Ready for action. Securing the area. I actually like the yes, uh, the recruit seat armor. It's pretty awesome. Eyes open. Going ready, out. sir. The orcs have their own sir. scouts, yes, always sir. on the lookouts for enemies. Understood. If one of these scouts discovers your settlement, he will return to his headquarters. Sound the alarm. A scout is about to discover the settlement, which is shown by a yellow symbol appearing in the oval of the map. Destroy the opponents before they can get away. Moving out. You may not be attacked now. The enemy headquarters will eventually notice the missing scout and start searching. Sir. Yes, sir. Have, however, game time. Scouts and recruits. Moving out. It is important for you to destroy the buildings in the enemy camp as quickly as possible because new opponents are continuously being recruited there. To produce a larger army, you will need larger quantities of food. Select your human monument. The lower numbers in the selection window on the left indicate how many combat units you have, as well as the maximum number you can support. At your service. The current maximum is 10. Eyes open, sword ready, on my sir. Way. Inside ready the headquarters buildings, you can use food to increase the maximum size of your army. Select your small headquarters building. In the action bar below, you will now see a symbol for food. When you hold the mouse pointer directly above it, the costs for this increase will show up in the help window. When you click once on the symbol, the maximum number of combat units will increase from 10 to 15 for 100 food Yes, sir. Units. All right. The increase from 15 to 20 units Awaiting already costs 200 food units. Increase the maximum number of combat units to at least 20 yeah. units by clicking the symbol twice. If the symbol is darkened, your hunters have not acquired sufficient food, and you will have to wait a while. Oh, yeah, you're nice. Well, you're gonna have to wait a while. <laughs> And why don't you grab a? Why don't you grab a freaking? Oh yeah, you better limp back there and get some food for us. I think after the prologue, it'll be it for this video. Once we get the option to skip the prologue, I'm skipping the prologue because I'm done with this bullcrap. Portal to exit the prologue. <laughs> One of these days. I'm a fire of lasers. I, I lasers that make soldiers.
Yeah, each race obviously has their own monument. They also have their own, like, symbol on the ground of the monument. They have the star. Orcs have this awesome skull thing. Stuff like that. Bring it back and bring back more than three. Is there really a reason to hunt with crossbows? Are the deer wearing armored plates? I think unless the deer are wearing armor, you shouldn't have to use a crossbow to hunt. Maximum number of combat units for the entire army of Lars, with the races also sharing their food. Produce additional scouts and recruits and destroy the orc camp in the east. Secure more resources and ensure you have sufficient food. Even though you don't use food to create new units, you use iron or what have you. We could combine this game with Men of War and invade with an with an army of T thirty fours and such. Ready to fight, sir. Moving out. This game has no cavalry, sadly, but I do like having an army of infantry. I'm a, I'm an infantry commander kind of guy. I have to admit. In um the game Rush for Berlin, really fun game. I played the demo, really fun game. But the AI in skirmish m maps is a they tank spam. I mean their their Panzer General, I not the game Panzer General, but they're like Panzer Commander dudes. They like spam millions of tanks. Like their whole army is just tanks. They don't use infantry at all. And someone who like who enjoys commanding infantry, like me hates that i hate that so much even though you know I, it's still a good game and i think tanks are pretty awesome but they're not my favorite battlefield implement my favorite battlefield uh thing i guess you could say is infantry i like infantry the most uh i don't know why i just like commanding infantry instead of gigantic armor-plated war machines. <laughs> All right, bump the mic again. This is going swimmingly. I think I'll go for an hour-long video if, uh, if I don't get this, uh, if I don't get the whole prologue in, I guess I'll do an hour-long video. I think we have a large enough army The rune desires you to sacrifice orcs. Okay, now. now go. Now. Let's do this. Let's do this, man. Let's go. This is beautiful. I don't think I've seen anything more beautiful in a human army. Charge for the motherland or whatever we're fighting for him. Follow me. Follow me. Quickly now. Now. Quickly now. Hey, you. For our near. 
Yeah, you. Oh, and we're going to see that guy Rowan they were talking about. Um, I forgot to mention this after the cinematic in the previous part. The the old guy uh, in the white in the cinematic last video, his name was Rowan. We're going to see him later in the game. He's very important. We'll see him in the first mission. Um, the evil one was the dark one. The, uh, the guy with the, like, the red pew pew lasers yeah he's uh his name is the dark one I think and then yeah For now I'm gonna call Rowan the uh I'm gonna call him Theoden because all these things that sound like Rohan so I'm just gonna call Rowan Theoden from now on because of his name's close proximity to the word Rohan and then I'm going to call um, the dark el uh, the, the dark elves the dark one Emperor Palpatine because that's exactly who he looks like. I think my dog's about to start barking. I like how when I say that, like a dog barks in the game. Oh, they're spawning out of, like, a hole in the ground. Okay. You cannot search yes. corpses or chests when Follow enemies me. are near. Yes. Okay. There is a chest in the York camp. Yep. Stand close to it with one of your characters, and you will be able to open the chest by one clicking moment. with the right mouse button. Take possession of the plan. You have just found the construction plan for a new building, and the unit plan for the human unit, Clarice. Open your inventory and go to the plans page. Someone came in. Anyway. Here you have an overview of which building and unit plans you have for all six races. On the right hand side, you can select the race. Select the units. Which was already selected to begin with. Unit plan in the free space among the units in the lower line. You can now produce this unit at your place the building plan in an empty slot on the line of building icon. Yes, the first line may be full, so you might have to press the right hand. Shall not fail. Yes. Forward. Now your workers are able to construct the temple in light. Close to you. If you want to summon human units with magic powers, you will need Aria, a magic liquid. Near the orc camp, you will find an Aria spring. Yes, really? Wait. You're gonna make us go all the way back? Simple workers are not able to collect Aria. You will need a special... There we go, place. that's where it is. Put up an Aria shrine near the Aria spring and the Temple of Light in your main settlement. To select this building, you must click on the pointer on the right of the building selection. Breaks over, time for work. Forty minutes, all right. God, this this just doesn't end. I I'd like to end the part, but I don't want to. I don't want to cut out the rest of the tutorial, especially if it's like the end of the tutorial. But 
There's like no part of the game I'd r I'd I'd rather do less than this. <laughs> Totem. Oh, don't tell me I have to go through all that. <sighs> My God. I'm not going through all that. They'll screw it. If I have to do that during this um during this uh part, then I'm quitting and I'm going to and I'm going to uh what's it called? I'm going to do that next episode or next part or whatever I want to call it. Tahira. That's right, get out of my way. And the dog barks. I like how this part of the tutorial has absolutely nothing to do with Tahira. Okay, I know, it's the, it's because it's the uh it's because it it is because it's the um the uh RTS tutorial, so Temple of Light. It is pretty awesome. Building completed. Up to five workers can work in the Aria Shrine and collect Aria. The Temple of Light serves to invoke units with magic powers, comparable to the forge for weapon production. Several temples allow you to invoke magic units more quickly. Additionally, you can buy upgrades of the Temple of Light. Upgrades are possible on several buildings, and they generally improve your units as well as offering other benefits. If you select the temple and have sufficient resources, you can click the clerical blessing symbol below. All the clerics you summon after this will have a shield and sizable mana reserves at their disposal. Beside the Aria Spring, you will see Lenya plants and Moon Silver. Both resources cannot be used by humans, but play an important role for other races. It's very interesting how some races produce can't use ones clerics. that other people can. Should you be unable to produce the unit? Dwarves use a lot of moon silver. In this case, move the mouse over the button and follow the instructions in the help window. In case you already have the maximum number of units, you can select units and destroy them by using the key K. Now what? Three clerics. Really, he wants me to kill my own men. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh crap. Ready to fight, sir. Awaiting your order. That's right. Bleed. Bleed. I am an evil human being. I do like a lot of things added, like not all races can use certain uh, resources, um, the military uh, population is not equal to the uh, civilian population as well, stuff like that, it's a very uh, pretty cool thing. Oh my god, I can cast fireball on my building, nope, 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 nope. Why not? I don't know why. The next thing we want to do is gear up iron production. Put up a smelting works as close as possible to your mind. It's 
close as possible, as close as possible, really, really. I have to put it all the way over here. My god, this is going to go on for an hour or more. Well, that means I don't have to upload anything, so yay! At your service. I wonder if, if it triggers like that, does it trigger on how close the smelting works is to the mine, or does it trigger on how I know if it's there or not? Does that mean theoretically I could put the smelting works all the way next to Tahira's to, to house, and it would still be like, hey, sweet, you got a you got a smelting works. Lev is wounded. He needs your help. We need your help. Yeah, this game was made... I don't think it was made in America. I'm not completely sure. Probably wasn't made in America. And from what I understand, I know the publisher is Joe Wood. Or did, did Joe Wood design, develop this too? I'm not sure. I'll look that up. If it was made by Joe Wood, I think Joe Wood's in uh, Austria. So, that might be why... Because if you notice in the voice acting, besides the tutorial guy, um, it's a little off. But it's not as bad as Men of War. Oh god, Russian people with no accent. Oh. You must kill the leader Do not of the want. Bring the rune to me as soon as you found it. Yeah, his voice is okay. But especially, um, what's her face? Kaylee. Or Kale or Kale. Oh Lord. Where it will be processed further. This means you will now receive the double quantity of resources per delivery. Simple workers can only deliver their resources to headquarters and money. Makes sense. All the craftsmen can deliver their iron ore to a smith, their wood to a sawmill, their stones to a stonemason's hut, or their food to a storehouse. Which then doubles the amount of each delivery. I can never seem to not hit the mic. I'm gonna move it a little bit more away. Because I know my mic is loud in comparison to the game. So. Here I am. God, I got that song from a goofy movie stuck in my head that, um,. Stand out, I think it's called. Anyway, uh, build a food storehouse right here. Whoa, that thing is huge. All the buildings in this game are very large, and they're 
and they take up ridiculous amounts of space. And you'd think the troll buildings would be larger than the human buildings. Nope. You really, you really think that gigantic blue guys would have larger houses than human beings, but nope. Nope. Hey guys, you don't, you don't suppose that the orcs could be a, just, just a tad angry about us destroying their, uh, town. Nope, nope, nope. Impossible. 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 And what do you do for a job? Do you just stand there? Mm -hmm. Upgrade complete. There. Now I have helped create jobs. Not for Americans, but you know, I've created jobs. Ready for action? Securing the area. Eyes open, sword ready, sir. Awaiting your order. Anyway. Building completed. When the food storehouse is finished. You can use food to regenerate the life points and mana reserves in your summoned unit. That's pretty awesome. This is especially important if you summon several magic units. No, it's not, because I don't usually use magic units. I yeah, use a lot of troops, though. Regenerate themselves without food. Like, this is the first time I've had, uh, I've had magical combat units. Usually I have, um, very, uh... Very small army. If you follow the path past fail. the orc camp farther to the east, you will arrive at an enemy lookout. Destiny as soon wins. as it makes sight contact, it will alarm its headquarters. Advance with your avatar, the hero, and at least 15 combat units to the Forward. east. As soon as the lookout has discovered you, a yellow warning signal will appear on the overview map. And yes, we are taking this worker with us. No, we're not. I'm ready. Awaiting your order. There's a totem over there, by the way. Totems are orc magic users. I don't really use them. Like I said, I'm an infantry commander at heart. I like commanding large amounts of troops, but not magic troops. I don't usually use magic troops. Just bread and butter infantry for me. There's a totem. He didn't get a chance to do any of his abilities. Good. And um, Spell Force 2 totems have wings. Don't ask me why, but they do. For adventure. Let's go. For adventure. Let's go. Quickly now. Him. The orcs have been alerted to your presence and will send out an assault wave to confront you. Destroy the orcs and their camp. Holy crap! Well, at least they're not sending out fighters. I think those are just thugs and um, spearmen and a totem. So we should do fine. But w would it had it been an assault wave with a um, with fighters or vet or even worse veterans, we would have lost. The veteran is the I think it's the heaviest combat unit that the um 
that the orcs can get, and it's a tough unit. They got gigantic hammers. You might have seen them on the loading screen. Uh, they're the guys in like the black armor with the really big hammers, and they're really tough. I've had them in my army. They're they're beautiful. But again, I, I'm an orc player in fantasy games, but whatever. War, war, when I used to play World of Warcraft, when I uh, played Lord of the Rings games, everything. Always orcs. Go orcs. I think that was a veteran. Was that a veteran, or was that Krong? It was probably their leader. Oh no, another hero. An another person to go. Tahira. Here. Oh, we killed the leader. Wrong. They're attacking. Ready to fight, sir. All right, Gordon, where, where are you? I don't think I can. I, I, well, I think. Congratulations. I if you now look in your quest book, you will see that you have now solved the two puzzles in open steps. Follow me. I did? The leader of the orcs was carrying the room. Loot the corpse and take the room that is not open. See, now he knows. Now he knows that I, that I just pick up rooms. I don't know why it puts them in quotation marks all the time. Oh, I left this guy behind. I'm sorry, dude. Oh man, this guy was all ready for fighting. He was ready for combat. Oh crap, he was ready for battle, and he he lucked out. Now the whole army's gonna come home, and they're gonna be like, "Where are you? Where were you?" And he's gonna be like. Hey, well, he's not gonna be like anything, but he's gonna be all depressed because we left him behind and he didn't get to see any action. These guys are just jogging back home all pepped up and good to go, fighting with Tahira and Orville Renenbacher here, or whatever I decided to name him. Oh, yeah, Gordon Freeman, who's all the way back here. Can I kill him? Oh! <gasps> Oh, yes, 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 yes. Bleed, bleed, yes. And that, 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 children, is how Orville Rennenbacher slash Gord Freeman came to pass. Your hunt, are you, what the heck are you doing? Yes. Are you shooting him? Are you trying to kill him and take his meat? Are you trying to kill him? Oh my god, look! He's shooting! My Zarek's accursed eye, the rune. You, even if I can barely stand to look at a rune warrior, nobody else could have managed that feat. Master Rowan will be relieved. You have received additional Look at this! He's a murderer! He, he deserves to be executed. Execution. 
I don't know, he was just gonna sit there and keep killing you. Avatar will have more life forms than mana reserves. You will also receive Ooh, new ability. Open the intel they added a bill go into the category character information. Until they added a billify to her antidepressant. On the right of the window, select your avatar. On the left of the window, you will see the skills of your avatar. And in them, distribute the new attribute points, for example, for strength or wisdom. To do this, click in the window on the small arrows directly beside the numbers of the attributes. Now, why would a uh, wizard kind of character get a um, get increases in for the in strength? Of a figure. If you pass over an attribute with the mouse pointer, out of my the way. Will explain the meaning of the individual numbers. Are we almost now done with the prologue? Can I end this let's play the for now? And select light combat. Distribute the second point wherever you want. Uh, an hour and a minute. Goodness. Goodness. Due to your improved skills in light combat, you have now received an additional combat skill. It's called Berserk. You will find this melee combat skill in your spellbook. Transfer Berserk to your magic so called magic memory. Close your inventory. Combat abilities and some magic spells are not cast at a target, but rather only work on the caster himself. Test the Berserk ability by selecting your character. And clicking the symbol below in the action I thought he was going to re refer to the character as the avatar from now on. Whatever. When you trigger the berserk ability, your avatar causes an enormous damage to the enemy for a short period of time. This can be very helpful in an emergency situation. That's going to be ours because no, wait, no, we don't specialize in like combat. We specialize in, in heavy combat. So never mind. Now speak to Joshua. Hey, <sighs> Josh. to be time for me to head out. It was good to fight by your side again. Again? I have no idea what she just said, but she said something. Is this the end? Is this the end? Please tell me it is the end. Please. Please. Oh, oh, they're going to the west. They're going to the west. They're going by the port. Yes. Yes. Woo! Ooh, ooh. Oh, really? 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 That would be interesting. Well, come on. Let's kill him. Oh, it's Theoden. And what's Theoden gonna? Whoa, whoa, what acid trip! Oh wait, no, never mind. And everybody was kung fu fighting. Do, 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 do. Everybody was fast as snowballs hitting the ground and freezing people. Thank you, Theoden. We could have killed them without your help. I mean, we had this gigantic legion of human soldiers with crossbows and swords and magical powers. Served you well. I can understand your fury. Believe me, it was worth it. This rune is the key to our future and past. Oh, time travel! It's back to the future. He's gonna be like that old guy. Live in peace, Tahila. We will not meet again. Well, let's book it. Let's get out of the tutorial. Yeah, you better leave. You better leave. Now the gateway is open and we can leave the bl the blasted tutorial. <sighs> I'm out. I'm not even going to let him say that. Oh, yeah. Follow the path to the south. 
Where further opponents are wading along with some useful hints, which you don't necessarily need for the first match. Well, if you don't necessarily need them, then there. All right. By clicking on the options in the top right, you can save the current game at any time. Which I'm going to do. Go west of the portal to leave the map. Or follow the path to the south to find more useful hints. Okay. Has the game crashed on me? Nope. No, it hasn't. Well. I hope you will join me. Oh, I guess we'll watch this cinematic. Welcome back, my friend. Theoden. I know Phone your memory is pain. Eight years is a long time. Many things have happened. The war is over, but its consequences were terrible. The convocation has shattered the countenance of our world. Yep. Since then, I've tried to retain whatever is left over from this world. You also but tried to fight for a book with Emperor Palpatine. The circle is closing, and these lands need a protector. Yeah, that protector is you, May right? The power of the ruin reawaken with you. But this time, you should not be the slave of someone else's will. Wasn't well, I slave to your will, that's I mean, don't get me wrong, I would be wrong. But... Wear it now yourself, and be the master of your own decisions. I... I'm free. Oh, God. Master Rowan, the Order sent me with an important message. Oh, Something's guy's got a bloody Wadlands. dagger. You can't trust them. Made of black steel. You can't trust them. Into the, Northlands. the Iron Ones have come. So, it has now begun. You must set out at once. Indeed. I will go see Darius. Alright, I'll you show you the first you bit of the first mission, and first then and we're done. Yourself. Follow the messenger to the town of Greyfell. When you get there, speak to my friend Sartarius. He will give you your instructions. He belongs to the Order of Dawn. Dun dun dun! The name of the game return. is the Order of Dawn. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to have really such a long time warrior. uploading this and processing and all. I can hardly remember. How do I get to that city, Greyfell? Follow the you just follow the yellow brick road. But let's be careful. Are in hey, spoiler alert, you don't see goblins at all. I don't trust this messenger guy. I think he's a I think he's a communist spy. I think he's a commie spy. Jokes, jokes. jokes. Nah, he's a, he's a fine lad. He's a fine lad. He won't betray us at all. You can always trust someone with a jagged blade, right? I mean, just look at a sword compared in comparison to every other sword. You can trust him with a sword like that. All right, let's do this. Young forest spider, let's kill it. Actually, I'm not in a position to talk about swords relating to alignment because of the way my sword looks. Whatever. Whatever, my guy's going to be the biggest jerk ever, so it doesn't really matter. That's how I always play. Uh, have fun! Idiot. 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 Yo, somebody say, is this all the way in Greyfell? Is that what this is? Yep, that's Sartarius over there. Oh my god, is that Matt Lauer? No, I have no idea who that looks like. Bob Saget? No, I can't remember. I There's someone that, look, that that looks like. I can't tell, though. Wait a minute. This isn't the way I'm supposed to go. Iron is light. Welcome to the Northern Realms. What kind of place is this? This is the Shadow Pass. It leads through the mountains to our capital city, Greyfell. How do I get to Greyfell? Just follow this trail, but keep your eyes peeled. This land isn't called the Shadow Pass for nothing. Should you get into trouble, then run back here. We will know how to defend your life. 
Well, I don't remember this in my first play. Oh, yeah, in my first playthrough, I must have just walked past those guys. I remember this now. Okay, now I know what lies ahead. Why? Why are there always large bugs? Why? Like how part one is it only an hour, a half hour long. Part two is about is fixing to be an hour and a half long. Yeah, that's just how it is. What time is it? Darn it! I keep opening that. I keep forgetting to close that before I record. Uh, three forty. <laughs> But yeah, we're finally... Oh, here it is. Here it is. It is Emperor Palpatine. Also known as the Dark One, but you know. Oh, Lord. Has the old man gone off? As you predicted, my lord. Oh, you filthy you piece of filth. Good. And what are you doing there in the background? You person out there in the background. What will happen with the rune slave, my lord? Kill him. And then give this casket to the leaders of the Black Fist. So that I can have plans for the unlimited but my pa. I cannot conquer this rune warrior. I I'm just a messenger, not a fighter. I have complete confidence in you. Bring the casket to the Black Fist. I will give you a I I'm thinking the Black Fist for those orcs <laughs> in the <laughs> prologue. Sure. Emperor Palpatine. All right. Pwned! Even pwned. Alright, what does he have with him? Magically sealed casket. What a bro. What a bro ham. What happened here? Treason. Randolph Lighthand. Treason! I should, I should, I should voice They're my character because my character's kind of. There is a rune monument right this. near. Oh lord. Summon your army there. It's the only way you can break through to Greyfell. Oh, walking more human armies. First, I must search for this traitor. The casket must be brought to the order as quickly as possible. It, uh, when did you start getting law, a noble and, and dignified? You're not me at all. We're gonna get to the monument, and then we're gonna end it there. So, thank you guys for sticking it out if you're still here, all two of you who are st who have been watching this almost like hour and 15 minute long let's play. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day, and I'm a foreign Malaysians. All right. See you next time on Let's Play Spellforce, The Order of Dawn. With me, Georgi K. Zukov. See ya.